Hi, welcome back to Fourth Atlantics by Dr. Kieran Daly. Today we're going to talk about a procedure called incisor substitution, specifically substitution of a missing central incisor or front tooth. This might apply to a patient who lost the front tooth due to an accident or possibly a patient who had a developmental abnormality of a front tooth, like in the case that we're going to describe with our patient, Jenna. When I'm younger, I used to remember small face and feathers, but now that I have migraine system and my small feet, I'm smiling constantly and edgy by the way. I came here because my adult teeth were strong upright and my teeth were strong. Jenna had a dilaceration of her right central incisor tooth. This was a developmental anomaly um, where the crown and root of the tooth had developed in essence upside down. And unfortunately for Jenna, it wasn't possible to bring the tooth into its correct position. Therefore, we were left with the choice of having to remove the dilacerated tooth and we had to then make a final decision as to whether the tooth would eventually be replaced with something like a dental bridge or eventually a dental implant or the alternative was to carry out orthodontic treatment to move her second incisor or lateral incisor tooth into the position of the missing central incisor. So initially Gemma had to have a short surgical procedure carried out under general anaesthetic to remove the dilacerated front tooth. Once this was complete, we then started her orthodontic treatment with train track braces. And you can see in the sequence of photos how we used simple orthodontic treatment to move her second incisor into the position of the missing central incisor tooth. This happened over a period of about 15 months. Once the teeth have been moved into their new position, we now need to plan changing the shape and form of the teeth to make them look like a central incisor and a second incisor in their new positions. We use advanced 3D dental technology in the form of digital smile design to help us plan the final positioning of both the teeth and the gum tissue so that we can change the form and shape of the teeth in the right way to mimic what would look normal. And once we were happy that everything was in the correct position, we then removed the braces. First, we liaised with our gum specialist, our periodontist. We had to carry out a minimally invasive laser procedure on the gum lines or gum margins so that we could create symmetry between both the left and right side. Once this was completed and allowed to heal for about six weeks, we could then proceed to the next phase of restorative dentistry to change both the shape and form of the front teeth. This was carried out with a procedure called composite bonding, which is completely non-invasive, and we use a tooth-colored resin material to change the shape and form of the front teeth so that we have symmetry between both sides. Once all of these procedures were completed, now you can see that Jenna has a perfectly natural and normal smile. She now has all of her own natural teeth with no replacement teeth, no bridge work, and no need for dental implants into the future. I'm so happy with the looks and constantly smiling. Having embraced a lot just makes me feel so much more confident.